And away they go. Beautiful clean start. Straight away. Uruguay looking good on the right-hand side there. And the Argentinians in the white boat next to the blue boat of Great Britain. Sweden to Argentina's left. But there's the big guns already affording himself the luxury of a look across. Vamos, Argentina. Look and at that's that. That's the blue boat at the top of the screen. The Uruguayans, bottom of your screen, going their own way. They've been here all week. And they are looking good. They've been practicing their portages over and over, that's for sure. Kolek and Kiss from Hungary. We've got one swimmer already. Oh, my word. And Not sure. Two swimmers already. Now, I'm thinking, I'm hoping it isn't, but the blue boat that went over first off, 482 in the water there is Poland's Vronkiewicz and Wyskowski. And there's a red and white boat, another 20 meters or so, that's also in the drink. There's a blue boat there as well. And that's Just a, a little bit nerve-wracking for the fans from Great Britain. Just trying to see who's who. That's 482. That's, that's the, the poles. poles we spoke about. And there's a blue boat which is almost submerged, which is going to make extraction just a little bit difficult for the RTOs that are busy rescuing these youngsters. And that looks like it could be the Great Britain crew of James Ross, Will Short. Yeah. That's desperately bad luck for those guys. But it's Hungary and Argentina already taking a stranglehold at the front. Spain coming up hard on the left-hand side of the group, coming in a, a bit aggressively. Yeah. That green boat moves out. And Con holds them off. And there's your swimmers. William it's Short and Great James Britain Ross. and Poland. Hungary moving to the front. Oh. More aggression at the back. That blue boat is just having its tail tapped. And that's just not streetwise. Everybody knew that they had to go inside of those turns, but they didn't factor it into the lines they were racing on. So red mist probably amongst these youngsters in the K2s. France at the back of that group. So Argentina with two, Hungary with two, Spain with two, South Africa, Italy on the right. Just have a little look back, maybe. Ireland racing across the back of the group. Might get a chance to have a look at that start again and just see... What Italians those being tapped on the tail. You see them veering off to the right. Yeah. These boys are all over the shop at the moment. Testosterone zone. More aggression oh. with between the green oh, and the and blue there. Green boat's, green boat's going to tap the tail of the boat to their left. Everyone managed it well in the end. But the Czechs, there's another oh, swimmer there. Oh, there's another swimmer. The black boat's down. I think that was the Czechs went in there. Nobody touched them. More. It's just all over the shop, this race. It was just overzealous, if anything else. Here they come. But that was South Africa Stefan. into the V behind the Hungarians. Argentina move on the right there. Argentina go to the front. Hungary tuck in behind them. And in the foreground, Stefan Tenora and Karol Vesey are swimming. But let's have a look at that earlier start, and we can see what happened to... But look at the blue boat coming across, just coming across oh. too aggressively. They're going to get their back tapped. There's the tap on the back. They've got nowhere to go. That yellow boat is almost at a 45 degree track. There we go. That's That was the contact with the Being blue boat. Being turned there, the blue boat hit from three, four boats at a time and boom, straight in. Frustration. And then the poles Great getting caught in the consequential traffic jam. I mean, that is a chaotic picture right there. You kind of called that before the start. That's when uh, testosterone overrules race intelligence and you're just going for something that isn't possible. Both those crews there will uh, look back at that video and maybe think that things could have been different. Yeah.